Life is a set of choices. Hello my darlings, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ifalabi. In today's video, we are going to look at Beyonce's wildly anticipated, very popular Black Skin visual album. Now, this is her new project in a year because her last project was with Netflix, which was the homecoming documentary that detailed her journey to performing at Coachella. And then we saw the Coachella performances and everything that went into it. But last year, she signed a hundred million deal with Disney after she was cast in Lion King and then she decided that it's time to give us the visual album to her Lion King the gift album before I get into my review of the whole visual album I would say this when she announced that she was going to do black skin and it was going to be exclusively streamed on Disney Plus my first thing was like wait First of all, if you are doing an album, if you are doing a visual album that is inspired by Africa, that is inspired by the aesthetics of Africa, the sound of Africa, you are premiering it on a platform that Africans can't have access to. But then it's like they made me eat crow because I saw just yesterday that, surprise, surprise, Mnet DSTV is going to show it on their channel. So if you have DSTV over the weekend, you're going to enjoy watching Beyonce's Black Skin album. Another thing I also found very interesting was that she did a lot of press for this visual album because what we saw in her self-titled album and what we saw in Lemonade was that is that she woke up, she was like, hey, I have an album, put it out on platforms and then goes back to sleep. But this time she had interviews, she released teasers, and I was just like, what deal does Disney Plus have it on? And the fact that it featured a lot of African artists was just very exciting about it. Even though there was a lot of, mm, she's exploiting Africa, even though there was a lot of, mm, she's not going to do it justice, even though there was a lot of, mm, it's Beyonce. So we all had our own problems with it. And I'll say this, this isn't an African album. It's a Beyonce album. That's the first thing for me I had to accept, even for myself, because I was like, well, why is she not doing that? Well, it's an African album, so blah, blah, blah. And I was like, wait, it's not an African album. It's her album. That is an accompaniment to Lion King and also her projects. So at the end of the day, it is very heavily African influenced. But also, at the end of the day, it's her album. Now, off the bat, the one thing I liked about this visual album was that we already know the songs on the album which was different from watching Lemonade. Because when you're watching Lemonade, you, you don't know the songs on the album. So even though you're watching a visual album, even though you're being enthralled with the visuals, you are more concentrated on the music because you're like, I've never heard this music before. Let me listen to it. So when you're listening, we get some castles. You're like, sun castles. I think I like this song. All the songs, because we've never heard it before, it was like, okay, we're listening to the songs for the first time, you know, watching the visuals alongside it. But that's what makes this Black Skin very interesting because we already know, know what the songs are. We already have our favorites of the album so when you're watching it, it's just like i know the songs so let me now concentrate on what the visuals to the songs are and for me that was so perfect because my favorite song was my power and that had like the best video on it apart from shatawale's video because i'm country proud okay so i'm repping ghana very hard another interesting thing about this visual album was that it has a central plot very similar to lion king about this young king that has been ostracized from his tribe and he's trying to get back but at the end of the day, who followed the story? That's all I want to know. If anybody followed the story, they should just hit me in the comments down below. Say me, I followed the story. For me, I was more interested in like the visuals, the nice costume, the dance, and everything. Because when I was watching the dance, I'm like, man, I need to figure out how to do some of these dances. And at this point, I want to say shout outs to all the Ghanaian collaborators on this, from Joshua Kisi, David Bonia, and all of you you have to give credit where credit is due she has spent the last 23 years of her life in entertainment business and it's like every single time she does a project she finds a new way to level up and for me as an artist that's what you should do because maybe your song will have a lot of replay value but if there's something else that attaches itself to your song that is great like you have the spectacle and for her she has nailed down her spectacle to a fine art like she just knows what will sell and black skin is one of those things it's like you know when you watch it and you're just like honey go off it's just like you're watching you're like yeah just show off show off your dance moves and when blue ivy came i was just like yes blue ivy and i think another one of my favorite parts was 
brown skin girl you know the whole cotillion uh, culture i find that very interesting to show all these beautiful brown skin girls was amazing this is my last quibble while i was using the video like when i saw him in the video i'm like oh can i like fast forward his parts so he'd be finished like yes i know they're married but it's just like we don't want to see you mr sean carter another thing i found quite interesting about it was that this visual album felt like a continuation of jay-z's family feud of his 444 album because you know family feud also had this whole futuristic thing about we are in the future we are ruling we are kings those there, there, there are certain parts i was watching i was like mm. <laughs> i feel like this is such a fetishization of what it means to be african and for me you know what another thing that's also very interesting for me is that I've always been a Ghanaian, but it's always, but anytime you're having like global conversations, it's like, oh yeah, African. It's like, yeah, but I see myself as Ghanaian and then African. I don't see myself as African and then Ghanaian. I don't know if you understand, but it's just, that's how for me, my identity works. I'm Ghanaian first and then I'm African. I'm not like I'm African first and then I'm Ghanaian, which maybe is against the Pan-African ideals and Kwame Nkrumah fought. But that's how I personally feel because anytime people say Africa, it's like we they bunch all 54 countries into one. And I'm like, yo, I don't know what the Senegalese people are up to. Eritrea, I don't know what their life is about. But at the end of the day, was it a great visual album? Yes, it was. Would you enjoy yourself while I was watching it? Of course you would. Now, this is totally a fangirling moment, but it was very interesting that when you press the like on any tweet that has the black skin hashtag, it instantly turns into a lion. Why? That's my only question. Why would you do this? But anyway, I've come to the end of this video. My name is Ifala. Leave me your comments if you've seen Black Skin. What were your favorite moments? My power, that video, oh. My power, the video was everything. I know Mood Forever might also come in between, but my power is just perfection. So let me know what your favorite part of the video or let me know what you did not like about black skin but all in all please subscribe to my channel support this channel and i'll see you on my next video